Today, for the first time, we are seeing the face of another victim of Friday's deadly plane crash at the DeKalb Peachtree Airport. This is Allie Rosen with her father, Jonathan. There were two other victims inside that plane. We have now learned the names of them. CBS 46's Jamie Kennedy is live at Peachtree Middle School, where Allie Rosen was a student there. And Jamie, what have we learned about the other two victims? Well, Tracy, we do know that one of the other victims was a friend of Ali Rosen and the other and last victim was an assistant of Jonathan Rosen. Those who all knew the victims say they were and are very loved. Tributes for the victims who died in a plane crash at DeKalb County Airport have been pouring in. Jonathan Rosson and his 14-year-old daughter Alison were two of the passengers who perished. Friends of Jonathan Rosson say there isn't a more loving guy. He's like the life of the party there. He's so outgoing, funny. Ingold had been texting with Rosson only a couple of days beforehand, excited for an annual race meet they attend. You know, just this Wednesday, he was texting me and this something, I don't know what it was, but I texted him back and he was like, I'm looking forward to seeing you at the track next month. And for some reason, I texted him back and I said, I love you, brother. I've never really said that to him before, but now that that just means a lot to me. An obituary describes Alison Rosson as a champion weightlifter and a rock climber. She was a student at Peachtree Middle School. Her friend, 13-year-old Julia Smith, was also a passenger in the plane. Flowers and a note were left outside Griffin Middle School, where Smith was a student. The note reading, our heart is broken for the family. I thought it was crazy because I didn't, like, like extremely know, like, about the thing. It's like losing one of your siblings or something like that, so it's pretty sad, but... Um, we're hoping for the, best. the fourth passenger we now know was Jonathan Rosson's longtime assistant, 42 year old Lauren Harrington. The annual race meet attended by Jonathan Rosson in Savannah will now be also a tribute event to the driving and flying enthusiast. We're actually going to take this event and turn it into a more of a life celebration event for him and his daughter. So we, we, we've had shirts, we print shirts up for the track event. We're getting them redone with his name on it. So, so many more tributes coming out there online for all the victims. Now the NTSB is the one investigating the crash. They're still trying to work out the cause of that crash and it can take up to 15 days for a preliminary investigation to come out or also 12 to 24 months for the complete investigation. Live in Dunwoody, Jamie Kennedy, CBS 46 News.